Haley Tribe, so I have been talking a lot about Pinterest over the last year, year and a half. You guys know I use it to promote my designs. I get a lot of traffic from Pinterest for free. I don't pay for any advertising or anything. But the question I always get is, well, how do you know you're getting sales? And honestly, I didn't know for a long time because I didn't know how to track it. And my argument was always, well, I'm not spending a lot of time on it and it's bringing tons of traffic. So I don't mind doing it, not knowing if it's actually converting because it only takes me 10 to 15 minutes a month to, to promote on Pinterest, right? Well, thanks to Redbubble and Google Analytics, you can actually track your Pinterest sales. So this video assumes you use Redbubble and you have a Google Analytics account. If you don't have a Google Analytics account and you're confused how to set everything up, I will go into more detail in this video than I did in the other video, but I'll save that for the end because I've already talked about that before and I want to get to the meat of this video which is showing you how to see where your sales are coming from on Redbubble and not just from Pinterest but other websites as well. And the reason you can track this on Redbubble is because Redbubble puts their tracking pixel or the Google Analytics tracking pixel inside the checkout process so you can then report on that checkout URL or link and see where the, the customers are coming from. So once you're inside Google Analytics, you're gonna go over to the left and go to behavior, site content, all pages. So you're gonna drill down to that report. And if you've had sales on Redbubble, it shouldn't take you long to see a link that looks like this. It'll say checkout success. Because Redbubble tracks that, you can always report on this page and see where the traffic is coming from. So the first thing you wanna do is click this. Now from this point, you wanna go up to secondary dimension, acquisition, and then referral path. This is what's gonna give you the specific Pinterest image. So we're not just gonna, you know, it's not just gonna show Pinterest, you're gonna actually see the image that brought the sale. So when you click that, it's gonna bring up a bunch of links, hopefully, if you've got some Pinterest sales. And so this link right here, all I have to do is copy it and paste it at the end of Pinterest.com in my browser, and it's gonna take me to that image specifically. So I know exactly what image brought me this sale. Now, the reason I have it blurred out, you guys, as many of you already know, it's for niche protection and theft protection. I've already had I don't even wanna go into it. It's so frustrating how much I've had to deal with theft without even sharing it, without even using my name and using an alias. So can you imagine how many copycats and theft and all that stuff I'd have to use if I showed my niches? And I make more of my money from my designs, not from teaching this. So I've gotta protect my income. So that's the reason that I have not shared it because I get that question quite a bit. So once again, you'll take this link right here, right click your mouse, copy, paste it on the end of pinterest.com in your browser, boom, there's the image. Now there's another report you can use where you can actually see what other sites are bringing traffic. So you go back up to this menu, go to acquisition, and then choose source medium. Now, if you're not getting any data, you need to go back farther. So you need to set your date range for a larger time. If you're only going and looking at a day or two or three days or a week, and you're not getting a lot of sales, you're not gonna see much data. Depending on how active your Redbubble account is, you might have to go back months and months and months. So I would recommend just doing like the last six months. That way you'll get some data in here if you don't see anything. So from this view, I can see that 194 sales came from direct slash none. This either means somebody went to Redbubble directly or maybe they bookmarked my shop. So it didn't really track specifically where the sale came from. 38 sales came from Google CPC. This is the pay-per-click advertising that Redbubble does for us. So if you ever clicked on your Redbubble stuff and then gone to Facebook and then you see your, your art because you've been visiting your shop, so they do retargeting advertising for you for free. So as you can see, 38 sales came from Google advertising that they do. So there's my Pinterest referral. I've even had some Google organic sales. So again, if you are doing like the week, which is the default view for Google Analytics and you don't see any, any data, you have to go and change your dates to something larger, like three months, six months or whatever, so you can actually get data. 
So if you're only getting like one sale a month, you're probably not gonna see a lot of data for the last week. You'll need to expand your, your dates and your reports. So that's how you do that. Now let's talk about setting up your Google Analytics account to work with Redbubble. So if you don't have a Google Analytics account, you have to go to google.com slash analytics set up an account you have to use your um, google uh, id or email or whatever i believe it's been so long since i've done it i forgot but once you've set up your account then you're going to come down here to the admin area there's like a little settings icon down here so click that and it's going to take you to the page that you see in front of me and you'll have the option of creating either an account a property or a view we're not going to worry about the view for the sake of this video, okay? So if you don't have a Google Analytics account at all, let's say you're not tracking any websites or anything, then you'll have to set up an account. So think of your account as like the main umbrella and the property as a specific site that you want to track under your main brand. So let's say you have a website called Dogs Are Us. So you'll create an account and then for your website, you'll choose um, Dogs Are Us. That's the name of your brand. So you'll go through all this, you'll say next, you'll choose web because you wanna track a website and then next, and then you'll enter your website name again, Dogs Are Us, and this will be your um, site, dogsareus.com. And then you'll go through all that and hit create. And it's gonna give you a tracking ID for your website. Now, if you only have a Redbubble shop and you don't have a website and that's all you wanna tra uh, track, then you can use your Redbubble link for this. So it could be uh, redbubble.com slash dogs or us or whatever your Redbubble account is. And then that's it, then you're done. But if you have a website and let's say you wanna track your Redbubble account, you wanna, you wanna track other things, then you'll set up a property for Redbubble underneath your main account. So let me back up. So we're back on this page and let's say your main account is called dogs or us and that's your website but now you wanna create another property to track your Redbubble shop. Then you would create a property underneath your main website. It really honestly doesn't matter which one you do. It depends on how you wanna organize your account. But for most of you, if you're only doing Redbubble and nothing else, just create an account and be done with it. So for those of you that have brands, maybe dogsrus.com is your brand and that's the main account and you wanna set up a separate tracking ID for your Redbubble shop, then you will create a property. Google to me, you guys, is so convoluted and I hope I'm not being too confusing with all this. It honestly does not matter. As long as you get that tracking code, that's all that matters. So you're gonna choose web and then you're gonna hit continue and then dogs are us or whatever your Redbubble shop name is. And then we're gonna do um, redbubble.com slash uh, dogs are us or whatever the name of your shop is industry category you can choose shopping and then choose your time zone and hit create and this is going to give you a tracking id this is what you put inside your redbubble account so now go back to redbubble log in and go to account details once you're in account details click the google analytics link right here now you're going to paste that ID that Google Analytics gave you. So you're gonna wait 24 to 48 hours or so, and then now you can log back into Analytics and you should be able to start seeing your traffic being tracked. And once you get a sale, look for that checkout success URL to show up in that report I showed you, and then you can start tracking where your sales are coming from. Hope that helped. I'll talk to you guys later.